the Monday night game. Monday night, we have got the Giants at the Bucks. The Bucks are favored by 11, I think it is 10 straight games, if I'm not mistaken, which it, it might be more, I don't remember, that Tom Brady has not covered in primetime. I, I look at this, and 11 points seems like it could be too much, but if you look at like total DVOA, if you trust in numbers and all that kind of mess, I mean, this it, it would likely be more than two touchdowns here. Uh, especially on a Monday night in Tampa, I, I'm i going to side with the numbers. It, it It's against the betting trends. It's all that kind of crap. But I, I'll take the Bucks minus the 11 here because I think they were embarrassed last week, and I expect them to get off the mat by absolutely shellacking the New York Giants. So I will, I will take the number two total DVOA team in the country in Tampa Bay against the number 24 T, uh, total DVOA team in the New York Giants. Give me, uh, give me the Bucks here. Yeah, I think you're right here. Had they won Sunday against the football team, I would probably see this differently. This is a team that I, I kind of like playing them, no matter the number. The week after a big embarrassing loss like this, they've had two bad games in a row with a bye week in between. There's no world where I see them having a third. I tend to agree. All right, so both riding Bucks minus eleven. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.